Hello and welcome to the Power Plan, a new segment for the 2021-22 season where I'll present the latest news, results, fixtures and everything else going on around the Power Plant. The 2021-22 season starts this Saturday after an uncertain spring period and we can't wait to be back. Everyone is working hard on the track and just on Saturday we had a couple of intra-club games both at Lorimer as well as Shutters Road. Let's have a look at some of the action. Plenty to like as we now look ahead to this weekend with all our senior teams in action. Let's take a look at every team's fixture for this weekend. We start with our first 11 who will look to take the next step this season and be a genuine contender for the Mass Shield. The season starts at home on Saturday against Thomastown and with the first couple of games at home to start off with, it will be imperative for us to get off on the right foot for season 2021-22. Next up, we move on to the women's team, who of course were summer premiers for 2020-21. They'll be playing the side they beat to win the summer premiership in Epping on Sunday at 9am at home. The women's team are looking very good on the track, and they're putting in the work. We're of course looking forward to seeing them out to add the spring title to their summer title that they earned last season. Now to our C grade side and they make the move up to C grade following their fantastic D grade premiership success last season. They'll be off to McLeod this week, and with their first couple of games ones they'll travel, it'll also be important just like every other side to get a good footing into the season ahead with some good results. In F3 grade, Lorem will also travel. This time they go to Diamond Creek looking for a good start to their season. Much like the first 11, they'll be looking to take the next step after falling at the second last hurdle in 2020-21, so they'll be one to watch for this season. In G2 grade, Lorimer make the return after coming agonisingly close to grand final glory last season. To start their season, they'll be hosting Lower Eltham at Murda Recreational Reserve this Saturday. Speaking of teams who are looking to take the next step, both G4 sides made the finals last season, with Lorimer Teal bowing out in the first semi-final, while Lorimer Black made it to the grand final, but were defeated by Thomastown United. A lot to play for for both sides this season as a result, with Teal hosting Bundura this Saturday at Doreen, while Black will be travelling to Bundura to take on Riverside. Like 
The Vets teams will also be out this weekend looking for a strong start to their season, fielding two sides again, one in the A division and one in B. Our A team will be hosting Heidelberg on Sunday afternoon, while our B team will be travelling to Research to take on Research Eltham Collegians. In junior news, our season will be starting next week, with under 10 starting on Wednesday the 17th of November and all other age groups starting on Friday the 19th of November. We should have some fixture news very soon at the time of recording. In the meantime, our Woolies Cricket Blast program begins with the Junior Blasters at home on Saturday morning and 8.30am start. We're looking forward to seeing you here for another season of the Woolies Cricket Blast program. This concludes episode 1 of the Power Plan. Of course, there'll be a lot more content to talk about around the club, good performances and whatnot next week. In the meantime, follow all our social links for more news around the club, more events coming up and of course, the power plan. Bring on a big weekend of cricket.